Hello friends, how's everybody doing? It's your friend Jeff playing Ultimate General Civil War, the Union Campaign, continuing. Um, <clears throat> these are my units at the end of uh, Fredericksburg. Like I, I got them back up to full strength and I moved units around a little bit. And I, I just got a bunch here and I scrapped some units, whatever, so these are all fleshed out a little bit, as you can see. This is the group that's going to be in Parker's battle next, and got this one. And then this one is where I threw all my good units uh, just to hold them off, because, you know, three stars, two, 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 three, three, two, two, two. So they're just going to sit out. Um, so anyways, that's basically what I did. Um, I scrapped a lot of the units that I had in the 4th Corps that were just rookies and stuff. So you can see I have 7,625 uh, veterans. In the armory, I bought the cannons that I usually buy and the, and the sniper rifles. Uh, these barracks, I bought all the high officers and I ran out of money. So, that's that. You can see that the army scaled up to 103 to 108, so it's still on the high end. So, I mean, I don't really like that, but, you know, whatever. I mean, even though it was, like, kind of like that near uh, Fredericksburg, but, you know, as you can see, I went in and I had the advantage in some way, so I... I ended up doing that, so I guess with this high like this, uh, maybe it doesn't really affect anything. I don't. I mean, I don't really know. But let's. We're gonna do this, and I plan to put. Uh, Cause I gotta try to get him to his next perk. So McCullen will go in here. So that only gives me 9,024 guns, and they got 12,000, so, you know what I mean, they do have a slight advantage. Alright, now this... I know how to play this in the UI mod, but as far as the JP T10, I don't know how it's gonna go so and I and you know what's funny is I didn't bring in my defensive guns I brought in offensive guns so 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 I don't even know if that's gonna help me but we'll have to see right okay so in the UI mod at least I know I sometimes hold this area here and then sometimes I'm over here too so I, I don't really know how to play this on the JP T T10 but I got all infantry here and the reason I got these infantry is because um, they're very close to getting their their uh, second perk so that's why these guys are in here. These are from my first core. And it, in each one of these units is very close to getting their next perk. And that's the only reason I put these in here. So I don't know if uh, maybe I should try to hold this like uh, sometimes, but like I said, if they rush us, and they got 12,000 against my 9,000, so they're going to really probably do a number on me. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and click start and pause. And we're going to have to break off skirmishes on each of these before we get in contact with the enemy. And, and then that even lowers my guys. So if they got 3,000 more than me, I, I probably should have bumped these up to like 1,400 each, but I didn't, because um, I didn't, I didn't know that this was gonna happen. And we'll tell this get in here and get in here. Okay, so now I, I gotta save the game, but I mean I'm gonna I'm gonna figure out like how should I do this. Um,
Can I have one infantry there? One infantry right here. Got to have at least one infantry there. Probably need an infantry right here. And an infantry right there. And then the skirmishers can um, go here. And, and we'll send a couple over there. And maybe one right there, okay. And the general can get in here, and the and the supply wagons are gonna have to get over here. So they give us two extra supply wagons. It looks like. Um, I think that that will be it. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do a nice little save right here. B G N. Twenty one start. Twenty first battle. All right. So let's go ahead and see what happens. I mean, I can try this. If I fail at this, you know, I can reload it and do something else or start over, I guess. Because, I, yeah, like I said, in the UI mod, I know sometimes <clears throat> I defend here. And then sometimes I would defend right here. And then take this later. Because if they do some charging... Oh, that's what can really push my lines. But if you figure there's a supply depot here and we need to keep this flag where we can keep the supplies. So that's why I put these guys right here for now. Okay, so yeah, like I said, we have time to get this get this ready. All right, so if we have three skirmishers here to hold, try to hold this when the enemy comes. Um, we have two over here, so I would think a lighter load would come this way. But I, I mean, I I don't know because, like I said, this is the JP T10. Okay, so here they got a couple of skirmishes right here. And that's why I'm going to need an infantry over here, because these guys ain't going to hold up to all of these. But we know, we know they're going to come from all around us. Get the infantry. So yeah, like I said, I don't, I, I, I don't necessarily know if this lineup is gonna do it. Cause this is it. This is all I got. I mean, and the and, and the units that I'm gonna get are gonna be the two, the, a twenty pounder and a siege weapon, and a cavalry and a and a skirmisher. So I mean. Um, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm infantry low on this one. Like, these guys have got to... So yeah, I don't even know if this is gonna be adequate. You know what I mean? Like right now we just got this to worry about, but once their once their infantry comes in, it's gonna be much harder. And I want these guys oh, I want these guys like closer.
and like I said, it would have been better maybe to have a 24 pounder over here, but um, I didn't consider what this battle was when I set this up. And so, and, and so therefore, so therefore, like I said, uh, like I think we get our reinforcements here and usually the way I do this battle in the UI mod I can at least speak f speak of is usually I'll have uh, two infantry because I think we get four units here um, I get two infantry and sometimes a gun or a skirmisher but all I'm gonna get now is one cav one skirmisher and two a 20 pounder and a siege weapon that's all I'm gonna get but at least they can shoot long distance and if, and if I can get a bead on wherever their guns are I can use it but, but you, you can hear them you can hear them moving in like they're they're moving in on us Like I said, the, the big problem with this is if they charge me, I got nowhere to go. Now, I'm not worried about the skirmishers to, to say, but I am worried about when their when their infantry surrounds us. So I got four infantry here, I got one here and one here, and that's all the infantry I'm going to get in this battle. Yeah, so kind of, in, in some ways, more dismounted cavalrymen spotted. Also, it's, so the cavalry is dismounted. Yeah, like I said, uh, uh, let's take a look at this. Yeah, Union. I've got 8,000, they've got 10,000 right now. They got 18 guns, I got no guns. But I think what I can do is, like I said, whenever I get my reinforcements, I'll have a sniper so the sniper can hit him. And then the cavalry can protect the guns while the two guns uh, can blast away at somebody. And like I said, uh, these are my 
my one star but highly experienced units and you know what I mean if, if these guys get trashed um, you know whatever and if they make their second star or their second perk I might if they get so small I might have to combine two at a time so I won't get I won't get six units that get you know what I mean like it ain't because uh, uh, you know I already have like like I said I I, 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 I um I scrapped most of the infantry that was in the fourth core because I, I thought that might bring down scaling, but it didn't bring down scaling. Scaling for the enemy is still like a hundred and six or eight thousand or whatever. But you know, again, yeah, look at like Baxter. He's got the Lorenz. He's lost a hundred and thirty-four. And only killed 81 because these guys got some really good weapons and they're hitting him. All three are hitting back soon. But, like I said, I have two infantry, three infantry not doing anything right now. Because at some point when they pile up, they're probably going to charge us. Well... I'm gonna I'm gonna attach uh, Baxter's skirmishes back to him because he's getting he's getting really low. Yeah, look, they got 12,000. Like I said, we're gonna have to see. Like, I'm gonna have to see when they start charging us or something, but... I have to see it in here. Like, these, each, each one of these units were very close to getting a second perk. So, I, I have to say, of my one-star units... These are the six best units that I that I could put into this battle to see if they could get to the next perk. But but because they have twelve, they're gonna have twelve, thirteen thousand against my little bit of eight thousand. Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna work good. But if each of these are close to. You know, a second star, maybe they'll be good in melee once these guys do that. And look, we don't even see who's shooting at us. See, this is it. They got some really good guns in this battle. And you know, and maybe I should have brought in a 24 pounder, but then again, their guns might shoot at the 24 pounder. It just take it just took for them to see the skirmisher in order to want to charge us.
But if they're not hitting me here right now, I could always bring him over here. So somebody wanted to charge, but then they stopped. I wonder, because I brought him back here, and they don't know what I got here, so they're, they're, they're thinking about it? I don't know. You know they're set, they, they gotta be doing something. They usually have infantry over here, but that's from the UI mod. I don't know it in the JP mod. And we were, and we were already got a message that said they have cavalry that are dismounted. That's something new. I didn't know. I didn't know that they did that. So now we know that they do that. Then again, if I had a 24 pounder here, I would have one less infantry right here, right now. And I'm thinking, if they charge us, I'm gonna need every bit of these, in these infantry guys. Like I said, this guy is not firing. Um, this guy, I think, from splash damage or whatever you call that, collateral, uh, he's getting hit a little bit. I'm just going to have this guy attached to his original unit. I mean, whatever rifle these guys got, boy, they are really hurting him. Look at Baxter's lost 255. Look, we can't even see them.
Yeah, I'm telling you, boy. I don't know. I've got to do something. I, I need to see them so we can shoot at them because they're getting free shot on, on us. Yeah, I knew it. These are my best units. These are my best units. This is my best units. I just can't believe this. Look at this. Look at this. See, they, they, they made this really hard. They made them attack all at once. All at once. This is ridiculous. Totally wiped out. Totally wiped out. I'm unbelievable. And these are my best units. Yeah, I mean, this is, uh, this is lost.
Yeah, throwing in my cab, everything. This is ridiculous. Oh man, they pushed us right out of here. Unbelievable. Come on. Let's see if my cavalry could do something. I'm, like I said, I'm just going to see if I can somehow salvage this, you know. Well, like I said, uh, this turned out to be really ugly. Oh, we don't we don't see their gun, but we see this guy right here, and I can't believe I got my gun right here. Like he, he was supposed to be like over here, and I, I didn't see him in time. Oh, we're gonna try to get back to what we were, I guess.
Yeah, and so unfortunately for me, I have to sacrifice my best skirmisher because I can't have him turn around and start shooting at my gun right there. Well, I figured I'd do this because this guy over here was shooting at him. Yeah, we're just gonna, I'm gonna try to kill off this guy while I have a chance, because once the gun shoots at us, we're probably gonna be done. Try to kill him. Alright, my calf's gonna come over here and shoot him. I'm trying to get away from their skirmisher and their gun, but their gun might see us. We'll try to kill this guy. 
we're tired. We might not be able to do it, but we're going to try. have wiped him out so that's good so we're gonna get him up over here to get some more ammo Ready. and I think I'll, I'll okay so if I can salvage this but again I don't know how I'm gonna get their gun Cause I gotta rest my calf. I just realized um, I could probably send these two over here. And I'm bringing the guns in so they can get ammo too. get a gun over here Okay, oh, let's see. Okay, so now we got a situation here. Alright, like I said, um, when they rushed me like that, I was going to give up, but <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, Luckily, uh, Minty is shooting his six-shooter.
Yes, I don't know. Uh, I, I brought Minty in so he could get some experience. Um, and there, he got him. Yeah, that, that worked out. So we took we we took away that threat that was coming in to to uh, flank us. Okay, well, um, now that we did that, I wonder if I should bring the uh, sniper in to get some ammo. This guy's tired. And Minty is going to try to take out their gun. Uh, the only reason I'm keep going with this battle is I'm gonna see if I can pull it out from what they did to me. I mean that was crazy. And if I have to combine the two units to make one unit, if they can make two stars, I mean I'm hoping that they can make two stars. Now if we lost officers then then we might not, but I gotta watch this gun. Uh oh, he sees me. Alright, here we go. We're going in. We're going in. We shot our six bullets. He put a canister on us, but... Close it on it. Uh. 
Man, we had to ca we captured the gun, but that's what I don't like about capturing the gun. He he was right there to get him. Come on, can't you shoot instead of meleeing? Come on. Alright, so Minty's gonna do it all. He's gonna kill the gun and now he has to kill this guy. Well, all three of these guys shoot at him. Can Minty shoot? Now I gotta figure out, they got nine guns, and they still have 5,000. Yeah. Alright, Minty, Minty did a lot, he's gotta get out of there. Just blasting away at him. All right, yeah, we're gonna go. We're just gonna um, consolidate our forces. I mean, if you look at it, they still have 5,000. And like I said, I, I, they're gonna, they must have a few infantry in here along with the gun. And I, I just think that, um, I want everybody to get, um, I want everybody to get rested and we'll see. Yeah, now, got a half hour left, and we will just see what they do. Well, if he goes over here, let's see if we can see their gun. I don't know. I mean, we lost 29 guys. We might lose a few more. Um, oh, he's somebody right there. Alright, well we lost some more of our, our sniper, but we gotta find a spot where we could see him where my guns could shoot him. But yeah, I don't I don't think it's worth um 
I don't think it's worth going uh, any further. Because if we go in here, they, they, they got the gun, and they got they have at least one infantry, but they got 5,000, so they got to have a few more in here. Or they got the cavalry that's dismounted. I don't know. I'm just going to see if he can go over here. Maybe I can spot something. I don't know if I can. Ah, there he is. Oh, we just saw him. We just saw him. Oh. We had just seen the guy too, you know, like could have had the gun shooting at him. At least it's something for us to shoot at. At least it's something for us to shoot at right there. It's forest. Yep, so I didn't, I didn't know forest was in this battle. Like I said, I didn't bring the 24 pounder, so anyways, uh, <laughs> I could possibly win this, maybe, unless I, unless there's a percentage, let me see. Yeah, see, in this one, inflict at least 10% more, well, I definitely did that. Yeah. Let's click on McCullen. Our losses are almost 30%, so, I mean, I mean, they, they pushed me right out of these woods here when, when they all came in. They did a mass charge. But, um, this will show that you could possibly recover from it. Because uh, only one of the units that were over here actually came into the battle and we, we ended up uh, killing him, but, uh, but the other one's hiding over here and there's one in this forest here. So, so we're, so I'm wondering if forest is the, is the general or is he the unit? Like I can't tell. Yeah, he must be the cavalry unit that was dismounted. But his dismount... His dismount ain't doing anything, so... Now the, the siege weapon has 169 kills, and that was so funny that he was sitting here and there was an infantry right here. And that infantry was shooting at my sniper. But I but I had to move him because I saw the, the the infantry started to go after him like so I, I moved them over here and then we ended up over here, but Hey we know there's a skirmisher somewhere over here that ju just ran away and stuff. But like I said, I'm not gonna get a wipe, so I'm not gonna So when you consider they had 12,000 
and I only had 8,000. Um, and like I said, when I get to the camp, I'll, you know, like I said, I'll have to show, you know, of what I could do with these guys. It might be just good, like, I don't know, they're, they're at 800, so I don't know. Like, this one's at 600, this one's at 700. I mean, maybe I could... Maybe I could send these two into here. I mean, we'll take more losses, but maybe maybe I do want to get these guys killed down a little bit. So if I could... Because 8 and 8 would be 16, and I, I usually just want 1250. Or maybe I could go to 13 or 14, maybe. I, I don't know. So, I mean, I could conserve and just stay right here. Yeah, let me, let me see. Because if each of these guys were around 600, I would be able to... I'd be able to merge them and make a 1250. But an 8 and 8 or a 9 and 9 would be, be 8. I mean, it'd be too high. I don't want to go that high right now. So now we're in overtime. Like I said, at first, until the time was going to run, I didn't know if it would end. Um, I was going to say... I could just let these two guns shoot at Forrester. But they're the only two that are going to get XP where... Okay, yeah, so they still have three. I got an idea. I'm gonna have the, the 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 cav try to get him. Hopefully, there's nobody near him. I still have two to protect this stuff here in case that skirmisher comes back. They got the skirmishers right here, see? Darn it. Oh, and they even got another infantry here. Okay, forget that. Forget it. I don't I don't want Minty to get hurt. I can't get I can't get their gun unless I see their gun and they got an infantry and that, so so that ain't gonna work, but Nonetheless.
Yep, that was kind of silly. guy gets over here this guy over here Yeah, you're gonna have to shoot at him because he's shooting at you. Let's see. Like I said, I'm only doing this uh, because um, I, I, I want to see how many that I can kill. And these guys get down to like around 600. And I can merge and I can make three two star units is what I'm thinking I might be able to do. Or, it, or if we don't get any promotions, then maybe not. Like, this one's already 600, so I'm keeping him here. In case a skirmisher comes over here. I'm having Minty shoot for us. He has to reload. I'm just going to charge him. You see, this guy here, he, you know, we got the two guns here. Canister shots. I mean, 
mean, these are not the best canister shots of, from these type of guns, but nonetheless. Figured between the two guns and these two shooting him. Find their, I can't find their other gun. Okay, Minty has to get out of there because the gun might shoot. Okay, so Minty's gonna rest. So these guns, these guns are helping out, I think. Okay, I think uh, is. got half of ammo so he must be reloaded. I wonder if I can get him back up here to shoot at their gun. We're just trying to do what we can here, as you can see. Now, this guy's down to 600. So the, the, the plan is working.
Alright. Oh. Okay, so Minty has to get out of there. I didn't realize that he already killed the cal the uh, artillery. So he just took a few shots where I could have got him out of there a little bit earlier. That's all I wanted him to do was to take out that gun. And I move these guns closer. So they'll be within... Uh, I said, oh, let's watch these two guns. So I guess, you know, I was, I guess it was okay bringing the long distance guns. Um, they didn't, they didn't get hurt. And, and, and they're now the only guns in the battle. Okay, so now these three are shooting into him. And of course these guns are... You know what, we're gonna try to shoot... Uh, I think I'm gonna have the two guns shoot this one. Cause he's the one shooting at my my sniper. Like I said, the goal at this point, while we have extra time, which I make I know makes the video longer, but you can always go to the end, I guess, to the of the video if you want to just see the results, but um Yeah, these guys are definitely six hundred. Got to get some ammo, so I'll send him over here. Okay, so my. All right, so all these guys should be getting ammo from this uh, this one. 
So these two guns are going to shoot into him and... See, but I think the problem is, is this this guy here, whatever gun he's got, he's hitting us pretty hard, just like this guy here. But I, it's, I don't think I can do much until I get rid of these guys right here. Just get a little closer to him, that way... <sighs> Alright, so now all these units are shooting at this one unit right here. The guns... The infantry... And the sniper. Okay, gonna move the guns a little bit more. Okay, I think I'm gonna t I'm gonna have this one I'm gonna have this one go over here to shoot at him so he can get him below 700. Okay. All right. We gotta. I gotta get him over here because I need him to stop shooting this guy. He's down to five hundred something.
Alright, well, we're gonna... We just gotta go for it. Okay, there we go. Alright, I, I did that just because, like I said, I wanted this over. They still have, what do they still have? 1600. They got a cab over here. Okay. You go there. Okay. Yeah, so they had the infield pattern, the uh, skirmishers. Oh, and he just, he just, uh, okay. Okay, we're going to move everybody uh, back to here to protect this because that cab, and I'm going to send this guy over here. Okay, so as soon as he spots that, that cab...
All right, so he's right here. All right, so it looks like I have 563, I have 662, I have 629, 470, and he's now down to six. My guns are shooting at him. He's gone. Look where he's going to get out over here, right past them. Alright, so this is just allowing my guns to shoot by seeing him, and if I can kill the cavalry, why not? Man, I know this is making the video long, folks, but just go to the end if you want to see the result. Because if I can get these guys killed... Yeah, he's, he's dead. And now there's still a skirmisher here. So we killed off two cavalry. We killed off two cavalry and there was one skirmisher left, I think. Right here. Well, I'll tell you, because uh, the way this went, you know, when they, when they, when they uh, uh, mass charged me, this is my revenge for doing it. And so, yeah, because my plan is, I, I hope these guys got all their perks, and if they do, then I can merge them and I can make three units, maybe. Wow, and that's still not it. Like, what the heck? They got 162. But where? All right, well, that's it. I'm going to move them up. So they, so maybe uh, the one that was over here, maybe he's still somewhere over here. And 
and, th and like I said, in either way, this gives us, you know, stanima and stuff like that. Like, so, you know, it's highly possible. I'm hoping that I'm going to get... Like, he's six-something, so why don't I send him over here to take a peek? He's 635, so he can go that way. Or he can go up this way to get some ammo. There he is. Alright, we might have enough time to just kill this last unit. He's the last unit. He's the last unit, so this will end once he's dead. Or the time runs out. I mean, I do have like a little extra time on the timers. See how he, he, he doesn't see us, but he can shoot us? All right, he's, he's about to He's about to die right here. And that'll be a hundred percent wipe of when they almost wiped me out. Like I they I am I am terribly lucky that none of my guys evaporated. Alright, so you can see right here. Nathan Forrest. Eleven thousand cavalry and guns. And I had this. I lost 4,000 and stuff. And I, and I got a wipe of them. So hopefully that'll help me in the next uh, battle. But we'll have to see because they're at like 106,000, the, the enemy. So, okay, so this was very long. So we're going to go ahead. This is Parker's Crossroads. And we'll look at the goals. And Minty, Minty had 1,500 kills, Archer, f almost 1,500,000. Ah, Kemper was wounded. Now, I don't know who Jared Colt was. I, di I didn't have a captain in here. Do you think because somebody got um, hurt, they put a captain in when I bought a whole bunch of officers? Like, that's just questionable. I, I don't know about that. And then we can look at what we got here. So the enemy had uh, Napoleons and parrots. But you'd have to tell me what you think of that if you, if you did watch it. And we didn't get much out of this. Not much. So it was this core. And this is the core that I, I wanted. So yeah. So Baxter All right, so this is um That's Archer Prior Reverse Minty Johnson and Wheeler and Rice. 
So yeah, it was kind of weird. It showed that there was like uh, one of those colonel guys, or not colonel, I forget what you call those guys. Um, yeah, like what do you call these? Oh, captains. I didn't have no captain in my group. I don't know why it show, showed that he was a captain. Kind of weird. I don't know if you knew what that was about, but... Okay, so... Oh yeah, and then we have medicine, which helps these guys. All right, well, first of all, um, I, I give them all the same perk. All right, and we have 2,000 of these. Okay, so the lowest guy we got is uh, 624. Then we have 681. And then we have 704. Then we have 790. 7.58 and 7.32. Uh, so if I take this one into that one, if I put this one into that one, and I put this one into that one or vice versa, so yes, yeah, so I will. They will be. They will be high. Cause I didn't. I didn't take the consideration of medicine. Of you know how many you get to. You know. Cause don't forget, one of these guys was at four hundred, and and they're not, and it's because of the medicine. So he's three battles. This guy is six battles. So we'll merge him into that unit. And then this one is three battles, and this one is six battles. So we'll merge him into that one. Then Baxter is two, and uh, Pryor is five, so Baxter will go into him. And so therefore, I would imagine I'm gonna have to keep it like that. So then, you know, I got I got Archer, and I got Feral. and we have Prior. And so I won't put any more into any of these. And so then I'll just have to keep these guys like this and then wear them down in, in the next battle. So I got two solid... I have two solid um, infantry units with, with two perks. And we... Oh, and we have 10,000... Um, yes, sir. Okay, and then this guy here, I can go ahead and I'm going to give him shot shell and damage. And see, we're going to lose on two stars. So I'll give him that. And unfortunately for Minty... Just for me to get him to 400, he's going to lose a lot of the experience that he got. He was at 500, I think. But anyways, he did a lot in that battle, as you can see. Like, he got 1,500 kills. And he lost 300. Yep, so yeah. So, you know, anyways, um, so that that's what I plan on doing there. And, and that's about 
That's about it, actually. I, I guess I'm going to put one into economy. I'll put one into economy for now. Because I, I don't know what else I want to do. Now, so, we, so the last thing to do would be to look. Like you can see I'm at 79. And I have a, a boost of 10. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and buy this. I'll get 2,000 of these. And now that puts me at a boost of only four, but at least now I have room to grow again uh, at 54. Because the next the next battle is Stone uh, River. And we have a minus 10 weapon quality. So hey, 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 by me, by my, okay, so by me wiping them out, okay, even though they almost wiped me out. You can see it went from 106 down to 103 to 98 now. So it went down a little bit. But their armory is pretty high right here. But it does say a minus 10% on enemy weapon quality. So let's just take a look. And we need three cores. They got 55. So just with three cores of 20, 20, whatever, you know, I got 40, they got 55. So we'll camp. Okay, so as you can see here. Okay, so you can see right here, you know, I got, I got this right here I gotta just put I gotta put guns here and this score is pretty up there and, and these will definitely go into the first core and I need Okay, so, um, excuse me. All right, so let's get, suppose these two stars go here. And that gives me 12 infantry. And then Woods is the 24 pounder. So Woods will go in. And this 20 pounder and that 20 pounder. So if I got woods here. Now this 20 pounder is almost a three. So he's gonna be my second best 20 pounder. So we'll go with a, this 24 and this one. And then I'll go with um, the other 24 pounder. The other 24 pounder. And maybe, and maybe I'll take the siege weapon. But then, it, but then again, maybe I won't because, like I said, I think I have a 20 pounder that's better. Yeah, this, this 20 pounder is better. Okay, so then I have that, right? And then here I'm going to need a, a, a cavalry. So my best calf is Minty, so Minty will go in. And this is my best sniper now. So he'll go in. 
And then that means I only have room for uh, Grant and Porter. Yeah, so I only have room for Grant and Porter. So this is my best core right here. We'll go in with four guns, one skirmisher, one um, cavalry, and we got the Iron Brigade here, which is Grant. I, gu I guess I could write in Iron Brigade, but whatever. Um, and so this core here. Put in a 24 pounder. I got the 60 ones here. I got the 60 ones here. So we got that one, we have him. But I think I got another 20 pounder. So we'll have a 24 and a, and a 20 pounder. And then I think this gun will go there. And I do have these two guys. Now where did I put them? Oh, right here. One's here and here. Okay, so if we have a... We have a first division there. We have a second division here. Then the third division. And then the fourth division. So we'll throw these guys out. So what I don't have, I need a cavalry and I need a skirmisher. So let's bump these guys out for a minute. All right, so we've got a skirmisher here and we got a cavalry here. Okay, so that gives us 20 right here. Now, I do have... Yeah, I did buy, I did buy 2,000 of the 63s, so I think I will give that to uh, Grant. So he has the Springfield 63. And we only have 750 left, so it ain't like we can do anything else, but. So again, uh, this is, is my best core, and they got the Lorenz. And then this would mean that these guys And hey, we actually have patterns too. Okay, so hold on, we got some patterns. So maybe Porter, maybe Porter can have the pattern. Because he's a two star unit, so I'm gonna do that. I'll give him that. All right, so Porter has the uh, infield pattern and Grant has the Springfield 63.
Okay, so then what I can do is I can give, um, I have Lorenz. So we'll trade rifles. These guys have 33, so I think they can have the Lorenz. Well, 32. Yeah, I'll give him the Lorenz, too. And he's got the hop of fairies. And then what we can do is we got 61s. Or, or we could, we might be able to buy, we might be able to buy these out. So why don't, why don't I just do that? I'll buy the Lorenz out there. And then here, maybe I could buy out the Hopper Fairies. And then this guy can get the 61s. And it says, um, I wonder, I wonder if Keys got hurt. All right, I don't see anybody here named Keys. So I guess um, I just like to have their name. So H A Z E N, and he's got the Springfield sixty one. And this guy named Hawker, he's got the Springfield 61s. And then these two got the Lorenz, and that is that. Now, let me look in the armory just for a minute, because I got two cores that are ready. Yeah, I don't have... Uh, I'm just going to... Forget about that for now. I was I was just gonna see if I had any other melee type weapons, but I don't. All right, so I got the first core is ready with 48 guns. Ulysses Grant's only gonna have 36 because uh, I I want the uh, I want I want I want t these two specialties along with the infantry. And now we need to make up the, f the, f the next core. And as you can see, I still got a bunch. So therefore, hmm. Okay, so if we bring in the siege weapon, then we're gonna need... Oh, and I, hey look, and I even got a 20 here. And I got the James, too. Okay. So I think the, the James, the 20, and the Siege. So 
So we'll have those three. All right, so Kershaw looks like he's the better Cav. So Kershaw will go here. And it doesn't look like I have a spare. Yeah, it doesn't look like I have a spare um, skirmisher. So the question would be, I could I could make one with of these up to two fifty. And we'll go with So Bruce has got the uh, the JF Brown. All right, so, yeah, because I'm gonna I'm gonna need uh, you know I, I got I, I always like to have at least one in a in a core. So we got that and we got the cav. We got these three guns. Oh, well, this guy's close. Oh yeah, look at this. This guy's kind of close. I'm just trying to look and see who is kind of closer to getting a perk like this guy. And that one. And some are not. Because we only need 20, 20, and 20, so... Um, all right, so we got one division. All right, I'll go with these three. All right, so that gives me almost two divisions. All right, so we need one more guy that might be... All right, that gives me two divisions. A James and a 20. And so now we're going to need a few more guys. I guess I can put this division in, I guess. All right, and then do I want one more gun and then two more infantry? So let's see what the guns we have. We have a parrot. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I guess I can go in with a Napoleon. Cuz I won't be too afraid of putting this one up on the front line, I guess. And then just two more infantry.
All right, we'll just put these two in then. And it still gives me a few left, you know, extra. And I got one gun here. All right, so I have a, a core that's empty, and I and I don't even have the fifth uh, core yet. Yeah, why don't I throw these guys into the fifth core? Yeah, it's still not enough, so I could buy buy the last division. But anyways, it's okay. Okay, so that is it. Um, other than, do I have any rifles? Like, I, all right, so I have one set of 61s, one set. I have a set of these, and I have a bunch of these. So, other than just changing rifles, I mean, that's about all that I'm gonna do. So, this score is the the, the Lorenz. This score is Lorenz with 61s and Harper Fairies. So that's what this score is about. And then this core has a 61 here. And he's got 35. So I'm going to go ahead and let him have... I'm going to let him have the uh, Springfield 61s. And then this one can have... I guess the Mississippis. Because I don't have much money now, so... So that's why I'm just going to use the guns that I have because I spent some money buying some of the guns, I guess. And we have some 55, so we might uh, use those too. And now we don't have enough enough for a, for a 1250. So this is where the uh, 55 will be. The Springfield 55. And I guess that's it. Um, we just got rebores. So we'll just give them rebores. Yeah, we have a lot of rebores. Oh, he's already got the rebor. Okay, that 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 is absolutely it, folks. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, you can see I got ten thousand veterans. And they got efficiency of 32, morale 42, stamina 45, firearms 41, and melee 30. So these are the three cores that will go into the battle. Um, uh, we can't we can't put any more money in. As far as the barracks goes, you can see I still got all these officers. I I could. I'll just buy those guys there. And that is it. So, okay. It was a long video, I understand. But at least I showed you everything that I do and stuff like that. So, anyways. 
No matter where you are in the world, have a great day, great afternoon, great evening. Please take care of yourself. Be kind to others. God bless you and your own religion. Keep all religions equal. This is your friend Jeff signing out. Adios amigos and adios the lovely amigas.